Imagine being fired from your dream job as the CEO of one of the most influential and innovative artificial intelligence research companies in the world. How would you feel? Angry, right? Now imagine being reinstated as the CEO of the same company just a few days later after a dramatic board shakeup that changes the entire direction and vision of the company. This is exactly what happened to Sam Altman, the co-founder and CEO of OpenAI, who was ousted from his position on Friday, November 17th, 2023, and then brought back on Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023, following pressure from employees and investors. This is a story of power, politics, and passion in the world of artificial intelligence and it has huge implications for the future of AI research and innovation. In this video, we will explore what happened, why it happened, and what it means for OpenAI, Microsoft, and the AI community at large. We will also discuss the challenges and opportunities that this news brings for both the companies and the individuals involved. So stay tuned, because this is a story that you don't want to miss. To understand why Altman was fired, we need to go back to the origins and mission of OpenAI. In 2019, OpenAI made a controversial decision to create a for-profit entity called OpenAI LP, which would be able to raise funds from investors and generate revenue from its products and services. The reason for this decision was that OpenAI needed more resources and flexibility to pursue its ambitious vision of creating AGI. OpenAI LP was supposed to be aligned with the original mission and values of OpenAI and to operate under a cap on returns for investors. However, this decision also created a tension between the non-profit and the for-profit sides of OpenAI and between the researchers and the executives. One of the main sources of this tension was the relationship between OpenAI and Microsoft. In 2019, Microsoft announced that it would invest $1 billion in OpenAI LP and that it would become the exclusive cloud provider for OpenAI. This was a huge deal for both companies as it gave OpenAI access to Microsoft's Azure platform and its AI tools, and it gave Microsoft access to OpenAI's cutting-edge research and talent. However, not everyone at OpenAI was happy with Altman's leadership and his pro-Microsoft stance. Some of the board members, who were also the co-founders of OpenAI, such as Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, and Reid Hoffman, were skeptical and wary of Microsoft's intentions and influence. They felt that Altman was compromising the original mission and values of OpenAI and that he was becoming too close and dependent on Microsoft. They also felt that Altman was neglecting the non-profit side of OpenAI and that he was focusing too much on the commercial and financial aspects of OpenAI LP. They wanted to restore the balance and the independence of OpenAI and to ensure that it would remain true to its original vision and purpose. This led to a clash between Altman and the board, which culminated in a dramatic showdown on Friday, November 17th, 2023. The board decided to fire Altman from his position as the CEO of OpenAI LP and to replace him with Greg Brockman, who was the co-founder and the chief technology officer of OpenAI. The board also decided to dissolve the partnership with Microsoft and to sever all ties and collaborations with the tech giant. The board announced these decisions in a public statement, which accused Altman of betraying the trust and the values of OpenAI and of being corrupted and influenced by Microsoft. The firing of Altman was a shocking and unexpected news for the AI community, and it sparked a lot of reactions and responses from various stakeholders and observers. However, the most vocal and influential response came from the employees and the investors of OpenAI, who were outraged and dismayed by the board's decision. They felt that the board had acted unfairly and hastily, and that they had not given Altman a chance to defend himself 
or to explain his actions and decisions. They also felt that the board had ignored and disregarded the achievements and contributions of Altman, who had led OpenAI to become one of the most respected and successful AI research companies in the world. The employees and the investors of OpenAI decided to take action and to express their support and solidarity with Altman. They launched a massive campaign and a petition which demanded the reinstatement of Altman as the CEO of OpenAI LP and the restoration of the partnership with Microsoft. They also threatened to quit or to withdraw their funding from OpenAI if the board did not comply with their demands. They also contacted and appealed to Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, who was also a supporter and a friend of Altman, and who was also unhappy and disappointed with the board's decision. They asked Nadella to intervene and to use his influence and power to help Altman and to save OpenAI. Nadella agreed to help Altman and to support the campaign and the petition. He also decided to take advantage of the situation and to make a bold and strategic move. He offered to buy out the shares and the stakes of the board members who had fired Altman and to replace them with new board members who would be more friendly and cooperative with Microsoft and with Altman. He also offered to increase Microsoft's investment and involvement in OpenAI and to provide more resources and opportunities for OpenAI to pursue its vision and goals. He also offered to create a new AI lab, which would be jointly led by Altman and Brockman, and which would focus on developing and deploying AI solutions and applications for various domains and industries. Nadella's offer was very tempting and attractive for the employees and the investors of OpenAI, who saw it as a way to secure and enhance the future and the potential of OpenAI. They also saw it as a way to reward and recognize Altman for his leadership and his achievements. They accepted Nadella's offer and they pressured the board to do the same. The board, who had lost the trust and the support of the majority of the OpenAI community, had no choice but to agree to Nadella's offer and to resign from their positions and to admit that they had made a mistake and that they had acted impulsively and emotionally. This led to a dramatic reversal of the situation and to the reinstatement of Altman as the CEO of OpenAI LP on Wednesday, November 22, 2023. Altman was welcomed back with cheers and applause by the employees and the investors of OpenAI who celebrated his return and his victory. Altman also announced the new board members who would join OpenAI and who would replace the previous ones who had fired him. The new board members were Brett Taylor, the former CEO of Salesforce, Larry Summers, the former Treasury Secretary, and Adam D'Angelo, the co-founder and CEO of Quora. Altman also announced the renewal and the expansion of the partnership with Microsoft and the creation of the new AI lab, which he would co-lead with Brockman. Altman thanked Nadella for his help and his support, and he also thanked the employees and the investors of OpenAI for their loyalty and their confidence. He also expressed his excitement and his optimism for the future of OpenAI and AI in general. He also promised to uphold and to honor the original mission and values of OpenAI and to ensure that it would create and share a safe and beneficial AI that would serve humanity as a whole. The firing and the reinstatement of Sam Altman as the CEO of OpenAI is a remarkable and fascinating story that reveals a lot about the power, the politics and the passion in the world of artificial intelligence. It also has huge implications and consequences for the future of AI research and innovation and for the various stakeholders and actors involved. It shows that AI is not just a technical and scientific endeavor, but also a human and social one that involves emotions, values, and interests. It also shows that AI is not just a single and isolated field, but also a complex and interconnected one that involves multiple domains, industries, and disciplines. 
It also shows that AI is not just a static and fixed phenomenon, but also a dynamic and evolving one that involves changes, challenges, and opportunities. We hope that you enjoyed and learned from this video and that you will continue to follow and engage with the AI research and innovation that OpenAI and Microsoft will produce and share. Thank you for watching and see you next time.